welcome, welcome, my beautiful, beloved friends. What a joy, an absolute joy to be here with each of you today. Today is all about stepping into our highest expression. And as we do that, we get the downloads, we get the wisdom, and we learn how to not only guide our life, but guide others as well. Many of you that are on the call today, your healers already, your coaches, your mystics, your, your human beings that love to do good and love to support the world around you, which is why I love this community so much. And so today, what you're going to discover is you're going to discover the very special healing technique that comes in tapping, which you may have seen me do in the past, which is a higher self healing technique. Um, and you can also share that with your clients or your friends and your family and things like that. So I would love to just go on over to the chat area. Let us know where in the world are you coming in from today? And also let us know what kind of connection to the healing arts do you have? Are you in the healing arts? Do you Are you a coach? Are you a mentor? Are you on your own healing journey? Where are you in the world of healing and transformation? Okay, Dallas, tapping coach. Nice on Kelly. Hi, sister. She's actually one of our graduates from our last uh, tapping certification. UK, Washington, Mexico City, New York, Pennsylvania, Australia, Reiki master. Nice. Bonita, nice. New Zealand, Vermont, so many amazing places all around the world. Glastonbury. I love that we are getting people from all over, from Europe, Australia, Mexico, USA, Idaho. Beautiful. You know, we have a lot of people that actually start tapping with us that are Reiki practitioners. I actually uh, did my Reiki masters many, many, many years ago and uh, can just really see how this method complements so many of these healing modalities that we're all doing. Beautiful. Nice. Healing on your own healing journey. Pranic healer. Beautiful, Anna. One of the beautiful things about tapping is it really does complement all of the methods out there. Uh, having studied so many methods myself, I became a yoga teacher, breathwork teacher, kundalini, massage therapist, Reiki healer, lots of different things. And then when I discovered tapping, I just saw how it took all of those methods to the next level. So really happy to be sharing it with you guys today. So the flow of the day today is I'm going to guide you through a four-step process. I'm also going to show you the four steps so that you can take it with you. You'll also get a PDF from me um, in a couple of days with the replay, which will show you the four steps as well. So you can practice it at home um, and then we're actually going to do a tapping session so we'll spend about an hour tapping together doing the method on ourselves in our own life so that we can actually see the benefit and the effects of it and see how it transforms us and then at the end we'll do some sharing we'll talk about what we discovered and then we'll go on our merry old way I'll also let you guys know at the end we did open up early bird two weeks ago for our tapping coach certification I know many of you have submitted some applications to join us in that certification which is starting in October um, if you are interested I'll give you some details on ways that you can find out more information uh, about that at the end of the class as well. Awesome, beautiful. So I'm going to ask that you turn off any distractions right now and just really give yourself this next hour to an hour and a half to really have you time. This is for you. It's for your learning. It's for your self-discovery. It's for you to gain more tools, put them on your tool belt. So really just turn off any distractions that might be pulling you. It might be a phone that might be ringing or someone's in the next room. You might want to close the door. Uh, turn off anything that might beep just so that you can really make this a sanctuary for yourself. Awesome. Once you've done that, you can grab some tissues. You never know. Sometimes there's some tears, especially with this technique that we're going to practice tonight. Uh, you might also grab a journal and a pen or a glass of water. Sometimes you get downloads you might want to write down. So uh, feel free to have those pieces nearby if you feel like they'll complement your journey. Seeing some beautiful, familiar faces here. Jenna! <laughs> Oh, so many beautiful people, people that have come through the certification in the past and lots of new faces as well. So it's beautiful to have everyone here together. So to start with, we're going to just do a little intention setting. We're going to close our eyes and just ground ourselves into the space. I'm going to put a little bit of music on for us to start out. 
Do, do, do. Okay. So let's all just take this moment right now to just close our eyes and to just feel ourselves seated on the chair, the cushion, the floor. Let's all lift our shoulders up, inhale. Hold the breath for a moment. And then on the exhale, just let them drop like a sack of potatoes and blow it out the mouth. Inhale, lift it up again. Hold the breath. And let it out, drop it all down. Once more, inhale up, hold the breath. And let it all out. Beautiful. What we're going to do now is we're just going to do a few rounds of what they call breath of fire. It's just a rhythmic breath that is pumped through the navel. So this will just help circulate prana into your field. Was When prana comes into your field, it helps you clear out all the unnecessary thoughts so that you can set a real clear intention with the universe and have it heard from the universe. So to start with, what we're going to do is we're just going to stick out our tongue and we're going to pant like a dog together. We're all going to look very silly and have fun. Okay, so let's just do that together right now like this. And as you do that, feel your navel going in towards your spine. Okay, now keep that breath, but do it through the nose now. So you're doing that same rhythmic breath. The navel's coming in towards the spine on the exhale. Okay, now keep that rhythm and imagining there's a cycle going through your whole energy field of prana, of life force now. We're going to open our arms up to the side and we're going to face our palms while we're doing this breath. We're going to face them towards the ceiling. While we're doing it, we're going to bring them up. And then we're going to face our hands to the opposite sides and push it down. We're just cleansing the field right now. Keep going with that breath. Keep moving it in and out of the field. Go a little faster. Inhale, bring it all up. Stretch up to the stars, hold the breath. And then on the exhale, push it all down the center of your energy field, blowing it out. Just holding this space right now, holding this field together, holding this space together. And we ask into this space right now. What area of our life do we need to connect to our higher self right now? What area of our life is calling for the wisdom of our higher self? Beautiful. So as you tune into what that is, go ahead and just write that in the chat area. What is the area of your life that is calling in the wisdom of your higher self? We have work from Kelly. Nice. Health and perception, forgiveness, financial, relationships, work, health. Health again, financial health. Oh, some health coming through today. Spiritual journey, self-love. Health, control, worthiness, self-love. Heart, self-love, grief, connection to self, forgiveness and trauma. Health and work, communication. We're holding all of these prayers and all these intentions in the field, abundance, forgiveness, intuition, 
open throat chakra, financial, life and work balance, forgiveness, anger, health, self-love, career, sun, family of origin, forgiveness. And so we hold all these prayers, all these intentions in the field together right now, knowing that this is a space for us to connect to our deeper wisdom, that this deeper wisdom may guide our life, that we may receive that which we need to know in order to evolve these aspects of our life and that we may trust so deeply in that which wants to come through right now taking a big deep breath in releasing a big sigh ah beautiful so as you hold this intention in your field right now, what I'm going to share with you is the four step process. And in this four step process, you're going to discover through the session today, what we're going to do with this. So the first step is uh, in giving yourself a higher self healing through tapping is you want to have your client locate the earliest memory or yourself in this case, or feeling of when the same challenge in their life occurred. So what happens, and one of the medicines of tapping is we understand that everything is connected. So the challenge that we are faced with today, the emotional patterns, the struggle, always connects to something deeper inside of us. Most of the time, it is connected to an earlier cycle. Even if it's something super traumatic on the surface right now, often there is something in our subconscious that's attracting it to us. And what is attracting it to us from our subconscious is earlier trauma that was never resolved. And this doesn't always necessarily even mean like earlier trauma from your childhood. It could be trauma passed down through a long history and a long lineage through your family line even. And so when we're tapping, what we do with our clients and with ourselves in this particular method is we ask them to locate the earliest memory. When we find the earliest memory and we ask them, we'd say, these emotions and thoughts all started when and you'd have yourself or the person speak about the earliest memory and this particular method often blends with the inner child healing method that goes in tapping as well once you've had them locate the memory and speak the memory out loud you then guide your client or yourself to bring love to all the limiting emotions and thoughts that came up in that earlier memory. And the reason why it's repeating in your life or your client's life today is because it was never resolved earlier on. And so by bringing love, empathy, forgiveness, compassion, understanding to the earlier traumas, we're able to once and for all clear them out of our body. We're able to set ourselves up to be free of them. So once you have found the memory or the pieces in the memory, you will have them say a line like this. Even though X happened, I am still worthy of love. A lot of the time when something traumatic happens, we think that we're no longer worthy of love. A lot of it comes back to our worthiness around love. So this is a beautiful sentence that you can use. Once you've gone through that, while experiencing the most painful part of the memory, you're then going to guide your client or yourself to imagine their higher self entering the frame and giving their earlier self a big compassionate hug. Now, if you've been coming to my sessions in the past, you would know that I use this method quite frequently because it's one of the big healers. It's the one that most people, when I teach this method, are, say, wow, that really helped me. And it's one of the methods that I really Really like to focus on in my certification program because it gets such good results because oftentimes when the trauma happened all we really needed was a loving safe supportive hug we needed comfort but we didn't get it and so we trap we had fear get trapped inside of ourselves and wired into our brain so we we imagine that earlier trauma being met by a compassionate hug 
And then you have your higher self deliver a message to their younger self. Um, and you would say something like, my higher self is telling me that. And so in that earlier memory, when the trauma took place, they were not getting any wisdom in that moment and they really needed the wisdom. And so you're going to help them find the wisdom so they can heal it once and for all. So that is basically what the higher self healing is when it comes to tapping. And that's what we're going to do together today. We're going to practice this on ourselves and then you can go and share it with your friends and family if you like as well. Beautiful. So to start with, what I would like you to do is just take a moment and start massaging underneath the collarbone. And I want you to tune into the area that you want to bring more higher self wisdom to in your life right now. And I'm going to play some music for us in the background. And as you take this moment right now, I want you to imagine that you're in your own bubble. And that this bubble is designed to support you right now, to hold you. And that nothing can come in or leave from this bubble right now. Donna, just let me know if that music level is okay. Okay, now tuning into that right now. Tuning into all of that right now that you want to clear out, that you want to get guidance on, that you've been struggling with, that's been really hard for you. And let's give ourselves permission right now to feel it all because as we feel it, we can finally heal it. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Up in the center of the chest. Even though, tell me what you're struggling with right now. Say it out loud. And I haven't known how to heal this. And it's making me feel what? What's the most limiting emotion that's coming up for you right now around this? I love and deeply accept myself. Exactly as I am. Taking another big deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping between the brows. Even though I've been struggling with, tell me what you've been struggling with out loud. I'm still a good human being. I'm still worthy of love. And I'm in a safe place to finally look at this. Tapping the temples, even though part of me has been feeling stuck. And not wanting to admit the struggle. It's still there. Tapping the cheeks. And what's it been making you think? What are some of the thoughts that are going on inside of your head right now? I've been thinking, what are some of the thoughts coming up for you? What are the limiting thoughts? I'm not good enough. I'm not worthy. It's too hard. I don't have what it takes. There's not enough time. There's not enough resources. I'll be judged. I'll be attacked. What are some of the thoughts coming up in your mind? I've been thinking, tell me that thought out loud. Speak it out loud. Tapping underneath the nose. I've been thinking, tell me again. Mm -hmm. 
tapping underneath the lips and that's been making me shut down. And I've been struggling for a really long time with this. Tapping the center of the chest and this has been repeating through my life. And I just want you to tell me all the ways that it's affecting your life right now and how has it affected your life in the past and what it's made you feel and all the things that have been coming up around it. I just want you to go on around. I want you to speak it out loud. I want you to talk into it. I want you to feel what's been going on. I want you to allow yourself to have access to any of the frustration or the fear or the sadness or the grief or the anger or the overwhelm or whatever's there for you. Just speak it out loud. Just This is your opportunity to voice it right now. Just voicing it out loud. Beautiful. And it's been making me feel, what are the top three limiting emotions that are coming up around this for you? Up in the front of the ribs. It's been making me feel, say it out loud. And I've been feeling this for a long time. Tapping the side of the ribs. This has been showing up in my life many times. Just feel all the times that this is repeated in your life right now. All the times that it has been coming up. All the times it's repeated over and over. Just feel into them all right now. Feel into the struggle that it creates. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, good. I've been carrying this for a long time, tapping the side of the wrist. Tapping the side of the thumb. And I wish it would just end. I've been carrying, and tell me what you've been carrying for a long time. Speak it out loud. Tapping the middle finger. And I want you to feel into all the emotions that come up for you. All the feelings and all the thoughts and all of the considerations and all the loops that you go on around it and all the stress and all the overwhelm and all the struggle and the resistance and all of that. I want you to feel that right now. And as you're feeling it into your body, what does it feel like in your body? Is it heavy? Is it prickly? Is it oozing? Is it festering? Is it prickly? What does it feel like in your body? All of that. And then as you're feeling into all of that, I want you to tune into your earliest memory that you have of feeling and thinking a similar way. When was the earliest memory that just pops into your mind right now? Whatever that is, just locate that. Even if you don't know if that's the earliest, it's okay. That's what's there. Of struggling with a similar thing. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. Feeling into that earlier memory of struggling with a similar thing, having similar emotions, similar thoughts, similar disempowerment. Tapping the little finger and then telling me out loud when it all started for you. This all started when? And as you can see, we're moving into step one of the higher self healing right now. This all started when? Tapping the side of the hand. How old were you in that memory? I was. And what was taking place in that memory? Who was there? What were people doing? What was the situation? What was happening? I was, and this was happening, and they said that, and this took place. 
Just describe the situation out loud around this earlier memory. Beautiful. Tapping the top of the head. And I want you to tell me out loud what the most limiting emotions were that you felt when that happened to you. That made me feel what? What did that make you feel when that took place? That made me feel. Tapping between the brows. And the worst part about that memory was what? What was the worst part about that memory for you? Tapping the temples. That's when I started to believe what? What did you start to believe as a result of that worst part happening? I started to believe what? Say it out loud. Tapping the cheeks, I started to believe. And I've been believing that ever since. Having underneath the nose, and I want you to feel into that hard moment where you started believing that disempowering thing. And then I want you to just go ahead and write in the chat area for me what you started to believe and then come back into the tapping with me. And I want you to feel right now all of that thought, all of the emotion, I'm not worthy, I don't belong, I need to be small, that was weak, I'm unlovable, that... I wasn't enough, I'm unworthy, I'm not good enough, it's all my fault, I don't matter. Feel into all of that right now. Even though I started believing, tell me what that was. Tapping underneath the lips, it's possible I'm still worthy of love. Even though I started believing, tell me what that was. When what happened, tell me the situation. I am still worthy of love. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Uh, take another big deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Beautiful. Tap in the center of the chest. What I really needed in that situation was what? What did you need in that situation that would have helped you, that would have made you feel love, that would have supported you, that would have given you encouragement or protection or safety or the love and in encouragement and inspiration that you needed or the resources that you needed? What did you need in that situation that would have helped? And just feel that right now. Feel that for yourself. What did you need that you were not getting? And feel into the realness of that. I really needed. What did you really need? Say it out loud. I really needed. but I didn't get it. I really needed, but they didn't give it to me. And let's just say this out loud. Let's voice the truth of what we needed in that situation. I really needed, saying it out loud, 
So this is the part of the higher self healing where we're giving ourselves the love and empathy for all of the pain and struggle for all the parts right now. And just focus on this right now. Let's really tune into it. What did you need? I really needed saying it out loud. Tapping the front of the ribs, but I didn't get it. Tapping the side of the ribs. Instead, I got what? What did you get instead? What happened instead? Instead, I got, tell that me, say it out loud. And that really hurt. Tapping the side of the wrist. Instead, I got what? What did you get instead? Tapping the side of the thumb. And I really needed, what did you really need? Tapping the next finger. And it's possible I was worthy of it. Tapping the middle finger. It's possible I was worthy of, tell me what you are worthy of. even though they didn't know how to give it to me. And I've been struggling to get it ever since. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger and I've been struggling to convince the world to give it to me. And sometimes it feels impossible. Sometimes I feel so stuck. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the little finger. But it's possible I am worthy of what? Tell me what it is. Say that out loud. Tapping the side of the hand and I'm done with trying to convince the world to give it to me. I'm done with shrinking and hiding. I'm done with thinking I'm unworthy. I'm done with thinking I'm not good enough. I'm done with thinking my needs don't matter. And what have you been doing as a result of this? How have you been sabotaging your life as a result of carrying this around? Have you been hiding from the world? Have you been defensive? Have you been attacking? Have you been hiding? Have you been picking up addictive habits or escapism or numbing in any way? Or avoiding or procrastinating? What have you been doing? I have been, tell me what your coping mechanism has been around this. Tapping the top of the head, but it's not helping me. It's actually making it worse. And tell me that pattern instead that coping mechanism that you've been doing to say it out loud I have been and it's making it worse take a big deep breath in fill your whole field up with light right now release a big sigh ah Beautiful, you're all doing so good. Well done, tapping between the brows. What I really needed back then was, tell me what that is. Tapping the temples and I'm ready to receive it now. 
tapping the cheeks. What I really needed back then was, tell me out loud what it was. Having underneath the nose and I am ready to receive it now. I'm done with hiding, waiting or pretending I don't care. I am worthy of, tell me what you are worthy of back then and now. I am worthy of, what did you need? Tapping underneath the lips and I can have that now. I don't have to wait any longer. I can have, tell me what it is. And I'm ready to welcome it into my life. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the center of the chest. Okay, so we're gonna move into the next part of the higher self healing where we actually get our higher self to enter the picture. So I want you to now to go into the most painful part of the memory right now, where you weren't getting that need wet, where you felt rejected, where you didn't feel love, where you felt unworthy, where they said that thing or did that thing and you've been suffering and you really started to doubt yourself and hold yourself back and shut yourself down and try to escape and numb yourself and try to like hide or protect or pretend all the things. So as you tune into that most painful part right now, most painful part where you really started to suffer, I want you to feel it in your body right now. What does it feel like when that most painful part happened? What does it feel like? Where is it in your body? Just stay here tapping right now with me. Feeling it right now, feel it there. Letting yourself go into it right now. And as you're there, as you're feeling it, as if it's happening, as if you're in that movie right now. I want you to imagine while you're feeling all that pain and all of that discomfort, I want you to lean into it even more, enhance the discomfort by 50%, like really get intimate with the discomfort, let it be uncomfortable. Enhance it by 100%, like you're, you're experiencing it in Technicolor right now. It's so uncomfortable, just for a moment. And while you're there, while you're experiencing that, I want you to imagine that you open your eyes for a moment and you look over to the corner of the frame and you see this light shining at you in the corner of the frame. And you just look at it so bright and you realize that that light goes into focus and it's you, your higher self standing there with all of their power, with all of their love, with all of their understanding, with all of their care, with all of their wisdom. And they're just holding you in the field with them right now. And you look over and the presence and the love is so powerful. And you feel them walk over to you in that deep moment of pain. That deep moment of suffering, that deep moment of why me? I'm not good enough. It's too hard. I shouldn't have done that. The self blame, all of that. And they walk over to you with all of their love. And they come down and they wrap their arms around you in the biggest hug, the biggest amount of love. And they hold you close right now. And they pull you into their chest and they wrap you in so much love right now. And you feel the presence and the safety of them holding you in that moment, keeping you safe in that moment, loving you in that moment. 
And I want you to feel what that feels like for that scared part of yourself to receive that love and that protection right now, that care. Take a big, deep breath into all of that love right now. Let it penetrate. Let it hold you. Let it care for you. Let it soften you. Breathe into that right now and release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the front of the ribs. Take another big, deep breath in. Release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the side of the ribs. I am receiving the love I needed back then. Tapping the side of the wrist. I'm receiving the support I needed back then. Because I am worthy of it. And I've always been worthy of it. Take another big deep breath in, release a big sigh, let it all out. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the side of the thumb. And I want you to feel into any part of you that's afraid to fully accept the love from your higher self right now. The part of you that doesn't know if it can, the part of you that doesn't trust it, the part of you that doesn't know if it's true, the part of you that doesn't want to, any part of you that's a little resistant to all of the love that your higher self wants to give you in this moment. Feel into any resistance right there and just send that resistance some love and forgiveness because it's just trying to protect you. I forgive myself for finding it difficult to receive. Tapping the next finger, I really want to receive. But it's a little bit hard because I don't fully trust. Take another big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the middle finger. It's possible I can trust my higher self. It's possible I can trust the love of my higher self. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. I'm ready to trust the love of my higher self. Because my higher self has always been there. And I'm ready to trust them now. Take another big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Beautiful. Tapping the little finger. I can receive my higher self fully now. Tapping the side of the hand. I can receive my higher self fully now. Because I'm ready. I'm worthy. And I've waited long enough. I'm ready to receive my higher self fully now. I want you to say these words with conviction. I want you to say these words as you are proclaiming them to yourself and to all of creation right now. And I want you to feel the power of your intention in these words. I am ready to receive my higher self fully now. Say it out loud. Tapping the top of the head. I am ready to receive my higher self fully now. Good. Once more. 
I am ready to receive my higher self fully now. Take a big deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, okay. I want you to feel back into that moment now where your higher self is there with your younger self. And I want you to feel into any final holding back that you're ready to let go of now so that the, the full love, the full power, the full magnificence, the full connection, the full beauty, the stability, the safety, the all-encompassing love can come through from your higher self. So tune into any part of you that's afraid to fully receive your higher self right now. Take a big, deep breath into that space. Release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the temples. I'm allowing it in. And I want you to see yourself getting more and more intimate with that love of your higher self in that moment. Letting your higher self hold you in deeper ways, love you in deeper ways, connect you in more intimate ways, holding you in such sweetness, such devotion, such prayer, such connection, such holy service. Feel that right now, entering into every cell of your being, opening you up to the fullness and the beauty that you truly are, the worthiness that you truly are. Take a big, deep breath in and let it all go right now. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the cheeks. And as you're in that moment with your higher self and your younger self, And your higher self has a message for you right now. Your higher self wants to tell you something right now. Having underneath the nose, what does your higher self want to tell you in that moment when that painful thing happened? What is the message from your higher self in that moment? What do they want to tell you? What's there for them for you right now? My higher self is telling me, tell me what that is. Tapping underneath the lips, my higher self is telling me, what, what is the message that they're telling you right now? I want you to feel them as they look deep into your eyes right now with so much conviction, with so much clarity, with so much certainty, with so much deep, profound wisdom right there, looking at you in the eyes, in that moment of closure, in that moment of pain, in that moment of fear. What do they want to share with you? They're telling me, say it out loud. Up in the center of the chest, they're telling me. Say it again. My higher self is telling me, tell me what that is. And if you're not tapping, you've got to keep tapping, keep moving the energy, Kelly. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah. Beautiful. Tapping the front of the ribs. I want you now to just go over into the chat area and tell me what your mess, what the message is from your higher self. Then come back to tapping once you've written it down. My higher self is telling me I am lovable. Keep moving forward in your journey. You are never alone. I am always with you. I am my own supportive parent. It's not your fault. You are loved. Don't go down to them. Let them come up to you. Stay. 
I got you. Be patient and trust. Everything will be okay. I love me. You are loved and you always will be. Say these with us for the whole group and for yourself right now. I am loved. I have the fire within. Everything is going to be okay. I am lovable and worthy. I'm staying focused on my vision. I am healthy. I am the love I seek. Have faith. My higher self is telling me and tell me what yours is again. Say it out loud. My higher self is telling me. Tapping the side of the ribs and it's possible it's true. Tapping the side of the wrist. It's possible it's true that and tell me what that message is that they were giving to you then. It's possible. It's true that, tell me what it is. And it's always been true. Tapping the side of the thumb. It's possible it's true that. And it's always been true. And I can trust this message from my higher self. Take a big, deep breath into that right now. Release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful. Tapping the next finger. It's possible I can trust. Tell me what this message is from your higher self. Tapping the middle finger. I'm ready to trust. Tell me what it is. Tapping the opposite side of the next finger. It's time that I trust. Tell me what that message is. I can trust. Tell me what this message is. Take a big, deep breath in, release a big sigh. Ah, beautiful, tapping the little finger and just keep tapping with me right now. Stay away from the chat, let's just tap. So I want you to imagine what your life would look like if you really allowed yourself to trust this message. And what would your life have looked like if you had have trusted this message and really got this message before? What would you have done and what can you do? Tapping the side of the hand, I would have. What, you, what would you have done with that message if you, if you knew that message when that earlier trauma took place? What would you have done back then? I would have, tell me out loud, And I get to make up for lost time now. Tapping the top of the head. I'm making up for lost time. And what would you get to do with your life right now today? If you fully trusted that message. I will, I can, tell me what it is, say it out loud, beautiful, you're doing so good, yes, 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 going between the brows, I can, tap in the temples, with this message, Tapping the cheeks from my higher self. 
take another big deep breath into all of that feel that message right now release a big sigh ah. tapping underneath the nose how does it feel when you allow yourself to really trust that message what are the top three positive emotions when you allow that message to transform your life Tapping underneath the lips. It makes me feel what are the three top positive emotions? It makes me feel what? Say it out loud. And then you can write it into the chat area for all of us to see. It makes me feel confident, loved and safe. When I trust and tell me the, the message from your higher self, tapping the center of the chest, it's making me feel lighter, calmer, and more powerful. Happy, supported, confident. Saying these out loud, fully trusting, heard and understood, reassured, calm and safe, stable, lush, Free, healthy, connected, happy, joyous, mature, confident, protected. It makes me feel relieved. It makes me feel what? What else does it make you feel? I want you to say yours out loud, the top three. And if you're still having any nervousness right now, I want you in your journey right now to hold that nervousness in a field of love. Hold it in so much compassion right now, right there. Let's all hold that field of compassion for any parts that are holding on right now. Feel all this gentle, sweet, loving compassion, the way you love a child when you look at a newborn, the way you pat your cat when you're loving on your cat. Feel that energy right there holding any anxiousness that's still there. Take a big, deep breath in. Release a big sigh. Ah. Tapping the front of the ribs. So I want you to tell me out loud what would be happening in your life if this was no longer an issue for you? What would be happening in your world if this was no longer an issue? Tapping the side of the ribs. I would be, what would you be doing? How would you be showing up? How would you be communicating? How would you be moving through your reality? What actions would you be taking? How would that feel? This was no longer an issue for you. Tapping the side of the wrist. If this was no longer an issue, I would be what? What would you be doing? Tapping the side of the thumb. If this was no longer an issue, I would be. Tell me out loud what you'd be doing, how much fun you'd be having, where you'd be going, what you'd be creating, who you'd be talking to what you would be taking action on, where you would be playing, all the things. What would you be doing? What would be happening? And what would that feel like if you allowed that to really be the number one? That would feel really, tell me what that feels like in your being when you allow that to happen. capable, resourceful, sufficient, worthy, loved, helped. Feel all the good feelings that that generates for you and then when you expand how good it feels by 50%. Like how good can you allow this new quantum leap to be? How good can you allow it to be? How much joy, how much beauty, how much peace, how much depth can you bring into it? Expand it now by 50%, another 50%. 
so good right now feeling so good feeling so at ease feeling so uplifted feeling so unstoppable so cared for so peaceful so on top of the world so much in trust right now imagine your whole life changing all around you as a result of that deep trust that deep connection to the freedom of your being that is here right now in the middle finger take a big deep breath in release a big sigh your eyes, scrunch your face, take a big deep breath. Ah, good. Tap all over your face right now. I can do this. Yes. Can you do this? Woohoo! <laughs> yes, you can. Take a big deep breath, release a big sigh. I want you to imagine yourself now just celebrating in this new way, this new being. Woohoo! Yes! Nice one! Lift them up the roof. Everyone take a few deep breaths as you pump up the energy. A celebration to last throughout the years. So bring your good Yes! Now push it all up, open it up. Yes, give yourself a great big hug. Celebrating your life right now. Woo! Yeah. a big deep breath, big sigh. Now I'm gonna have you all unmute yourself. If you feel like it, we're gonna do a little laughter tap for two minutes. You're gonna have an opportunity to just laugh for no reason. If you can't laugh, just go ho, ho, ha, 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 he, 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 and then laugh at everyone else or laugh at me. But this is an opportunity just to light up the energy, to activate the pathways in the brain that get generated. Even when it's a fake laugh, it generates the same happy chemicals. All right. So unmute yourself, and when you're ready. Let's <laughs> 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 
Exhale slowly, release the breath right now, let it all out. Take another deep breath in, hold the breath, bring your hands up into a ball around you. Hold that breath, feel all of that energy circulating through every part of your being right now. So much opening, so much light flooding in through the system, cultivating the light. Exhale, bring it all down now into your feel, bringing it in, bringing it in, bringing it into your whole body. Exhale, holding it in your chest right now. This connection to yourself, your higher self right now in this moment, sitting in your being. Your higher self right here, right now, inside of you, connected to you, guiding your every breath right here with you every step of the way taking another deep breath in hold the breath exhale slowly Feeling into that message from your higher self that you received today. Feel that message now moving through your whole life. Touching your every relationship, your every move. Taking one more big deep breath in and releasing and just heading over into the chat area now and go ahead and write that message from your higher self into the chat area. Perhaps it's a new message or it's the one that you received in the tap. Feeling that message guiding your life now. I am protected and supported, just trust. Keep going, this is okay. I am loved, I am you, I am loved, my body is beautiful. You are your parent. Be brave, keep going. You are okay as you are, I am safe, I am enough. Take that leap of faith. I can do it. I love you. You are good enough. You can believe in yourself. I can trust myself. You are beautiful like a rainbow. You've got this. Take a long, deep breath in. And release with a big sigh. Ha. Ah. I want you to take this moment now just to tune into how you're feeling now about your next steps. 
How are you feeling after doing this inner healing, this higher self healing today? Let me know how you're feeling. What's, what's your feeling after doing the higher self meditation with me? Beautiful, more grounded in logic, beautiful and magnificent. Lighter, empowered and safe, beautiful, grounded, awesome. Protected, supported and confident. Yes, yes, yes. Feeling it with you all, confident, beautiful. Awesome, my loves. So we do these classes every couple of weeks. Uh, they're free to the community. Invite your friends, bring your family. Let's heal together. As mentioned, we are in early bird for the coaching program. So if you're interested, there's a link there. All you need to do is uh, head on over and you can uh, submit an application and we'll get back to you uh, to see if it feels like a good fit for us to dive together and build our dreams together and continue to grow in this journey. So loving you all. Thank you for sharing. Go share your love with your friends and your family and your clients and all the people in your life. And let's keep moving. Love you all. Bye for now.